being transparent in your work doesn't mean you communicate it. Hmm. You can be transparent in your work, but be a nervous or have uh, some kind of obstacle in communicating that transparency. Right. Right? Yeah, right. I, yeah, absolutely. You see? Mm-hmm. So how didn't you... Then there's a gap. And that person feels that they go home at the end of the day and they feel like they're, there's not a there's not a, a sustaining energy through what they're doing because there's there's some sort of a break happening. Sometimes it's a skill set, and I'll tell you where it is. Uh, I'll get someone, uh, the, my financial analysts, for example. Why do they get hired? Because they're brilliant analysts. Okay? They're analytical by nature. They are brilliant with looking at numbers and projections and all of that sort of thing. They spend hours and hours and hours a day. It's all up here. All up there. They're ethical, great, brilliant uh, at their craft. But are are they communicating it? Hmm. Now, when they are communicating it amongst each other, they're usually great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're speaking the same language. (coughs) It's easy. They're fine. Yeah. They're fine. But when they have to go outside of that safety zone, outside of their nest there, right. and communicate it to the public, shareholders, their uh, superiors, uh, in what's holding them back? They, they're a fish out of water. They, it's mm. a skill set they don't have. Right. They're not used to communi- They're not used to the communication outside, outside of their fold. Outside of their fold. Yeah. Got it. And. I'll tell you when that happens. It happens a lot when you have a COO that moves to a CEO. He's used to being, you know, down in the trenches and making things happen. And numbers, now, numbers, right. and, and all of that, and management and on a different level. Now CEO, oh, now he's the public face figure and has to speak. Right. Right. So it's a completely different part of the brain. A completely has, different skill set that yeah. has been that's not many times has not been developed. Every now and then. Uh, you get a, an analyst that has that has a, a social way about themselves, and they're fine, mm-hmm. you know. But um, these technical people, and not just financial analysts, although that's what I'm dealing with a lot, mm-hmm. but IT scientists, they'll come to me and they're like, I, "I'm not used to communicating. I'm oh, getting sure. ready to be ripped apart by yeah. by by these attorneys," you know. And yeah, that's I, a tough thing for that kind of person because you kind of an intellectual type, they can kind of build their own world and kind of, you know, hunker down. And so when they have to go out and share that, there's a lot of insecurity because they've kind of created their own little fortress yeah. around what they know. Right. Oh, exactly. And and what do you do with that information? Yeah. They are a fish out of water a lot. So what kind of methods do you use with them versus actors? I use some of the similar exercises watered down and and, um, customized for them. For example, when I ask them just how they're feeling, they many times they think, what am I thinking? So if I ask you, how are you feeling? You Mm -hmm. might, Michael, you might say, well, I'm feeling more relaxed now, right? Mm -hmm. That's an emotional Mm -hmm. response. They might say, well, I'm feeling like... um, The the, light's too bright. The light's too bright, as opposed to annoyed. Mm Mm-hmm. Annoyed that, that the light is in my eyes. Mm-hmm. You see, yeah. so first I got to get them connected to who and what they are um, that that way, so they just know the vehicle that they're communicating with. Right. People think communication is what you do. It's not. It's an experience to be achieved. Mm. And you it's can't. It's a feeling, it's, actually. It's, yeah. it's a kind of a feeling of connection. Think of it this way. Every time. Every time. Every time you watch someone speak, you're having an emotional response. You're saying, you're you're watching and you're going like this. I'm bored. I'm excited. I'm interested. I'm pissed. I'm elated. I'm eager. I'm, it makes me scared. I'm, there's something. Always happening. Something. And it's the only reason why you're there or not. Right. 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 It's not data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just data. It's not a uh huh. No, there's and even if there seems to be an intellectual reason for it, there is an emotional reason be- behind it. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Mm-hmm. So once you understand that, then you say, okay, what what would uh, what do I want to achieve here? What's my goal? The goal can't be to raise money. That's the goal. Has, That's a byproduct. It's a byproduct. Of the goal.